The Aleche Arena, as the name already tells, is a ski resort full of fantastic panoramas over the peaks and the greatest glacier of the Alps. How is it like to ski in one of the best resorts of Switzerland? Where do you need to go? How do the three major stations look like? And what are the highlights and must-dos when coming up here? This is my full travel guide for the Aleche Arena. Hello everyone, good morning. I'm traveling with Johannes. We are going to show you this beautiful skiing resort called Aleche Arena. And right now we are up on the Beit Mahon and we're witnessing a spectacular sunrise. You can see the Matterhorn in the background as well as the red splendor on the summits. All right, and now we're going to start skiing and we're going to show you why you should come here because it's really fantastic. We are early birds today because this is a pay collaboration with the ski resort Aleche Arena and they allowed us to go up to the Beit Mahon for the sunrise. It was just perfect, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Aleche Arena can be reached either by car or by train. You may alight at Mürl, Fiesch or Betten. These stations also offer more than enough parking lots should you travel there by car. In particular convenient is the arrival by train in Betten as the station is directly at the cabin lift. Good stations to stay overnight would be in Riederalp, Fischeralp or Betmeralp, which are all car free and what is the best, you may ski in and out as the slopes are mostly at your doorstep. Otherwise you may also consider staying in Fiesch itself. Some more facts, the Aleche Arena is very snowshore as it's located quite high up, almost entirely above 2000 meters. This allows you to ski until April, which is already mid-spring. The Aleche Arena is an arena of panoramas, you'll be getting breathtaking views over the various 4000er mountains, the iconic Matterhorn, Weisshorn, Eigermönchen Jungfrau, as well as the Aleche Glacier, the largest glacier of the Alps. This unique area is called Jungfrau Aletsch and is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And if that so far should not have convinced you to ski in here, the Aletsch Arena has been ranking among the top 10 ski resorts of the Alps and was awarded with excellence among various categories. When you come to the Aletsch Arena for skiing, you should plan for at least two days. Visit all three stations, Riederalp, Betmeralp and Fiescheralp. When starting in Betmeralp, take this cabin ride up to the Betmehorn or the cable lift called Schönbiel. Then follow this track to cross over to Fiescheralp. We now arrived at Fiesch. That's where we both were in the ski camp during secondary school. Long time ago. Long time ago for me it was almost 20 years ago for you. 16 years. Distant memory, but great to be back. The station of Fiescheralp is notably smaller than the one at Betmeralp. 
It is also car free and only can be reached either by ski or by taking the cabin ride from the town of Fiesch. You have many good reasons to ski in Fieschralp. First of all, it starts on 2200 meters and thus this side is very snowshore, meaning it's sufficiently high that you mostly will have enough snow and good conditions on the slopes. Then in Fieschralp you have some great tracks that you can choose, for example this ski cross that you can access by taking the cable lift called Fleisch. What is very nice is to take this cabin ride up to the Eckishorn. From there you'll be getting the very best view over the Alec Glacier in the entire ski resort. You even will be able to spot the Jungfrau Joch station. In general, the Eckishorn is a rather quiet spot and it's comparatively cheap to come up here. You can use the ski pass, but should you come here as a pedestrian, the return ticket costs 49 Swiss francs. Or else, consider getting the Discovery Pass for 56 francs a day that is valid for all rides within the resort. Also, do not forget to take a look to the southern side where you will have a great panorama over the Alps of Valle and the Matterhorn. Well, the latter you can spot from pretty much every corner of the skiing resort, but being at the highest point of the Alecce Arena, you will have the best view over the Matterhorn. Unfortunately, the slope from the Eckishorn down to Fieschralp is closed because of the permafrost that is thawing. This, however, has something good. There will be less people up there, which allows you to enjoy this stunning panorama in a very serene atmosphere. Thus, do not miss out this opportunity. Nice is also the track that takes you from Fieschralp to Heimat. You'll be seeing many paragliders and there will be a lot of steep beats for carving as well as this small village that is very charming. All in all, at Fieschralp you have a couple of slopes that you can try. You have the Eckishorn that offers the best panorama of the entire resort. And very important, you have a lot of dining options in here where you can get tasty dishes. We're now done with Fiesch. We are going back to Betmaral, so you will have to take this slope, make sure you have enough speed and well, looking forward to go back to the Betmaral. This here is William Viertno. He is a teacher. You can learn how to ski with him. But maybe you've just seen before, he did a great trick on the ramp. So, you want to learn some fancy things? Come check it out! Yes. There are two ways of how to transit to Riederalp. One is convenient, just use this conveyor belt lift which will take some of your time. Or by transiting through the village of Betmaralp by directly heading to the Blausee cable lift. Please take note that there will be also pedestrians, thus do not speed. At the end there will be a short part at where you might have to get off your skis or snowboard. Here we have the Alec Glacier, the largest glacier of the Alps. In general, the Alec Arena is full of panoramic lookout points. So yeah, that is actually one of the very special things that you can get here 
brilliant vista over the Alec Glacier as well as the Alps Valaison with the Matterhorn in the background. Riederalp is at the very west of the Alec Arena. Among its three stations, it is the lowest in its altitude, being at 1925 meters. There are three major cable lifts that one can take, the one up to the Riederfoka, to the Hoflue and one up to the Moosflue. The latter is the one that you will need to take to transit to Betmeralp. Rieteralp is in general less busy than the Betmeralp or Fiesch, which is great for those who want to avoid crowds and save time with queuing at the lifts. In terms of slopes, Rieteralp has a couple of variants. As mentioned before, it's always worth taking the cable lifts again and then try out another slope. While the slopes are great and the village is pretty, there is one highlight within this ski resort that you only will be getting here at Riederald. So he's up here and we'll be jumping on this ramp and land on this map. It was great here at Riederalp and now we're heading back to Betmaralp. So we'll be taking that lift over there, the one with the blue chairs. So Johannes, how was your experience on the ramp? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, you did well, I do have to say. It was your first front flip? Yes. <laughs> Among the three stations, Betmaralp is the largest. The best slopes would be the ones at the Betmahorn or at Schönbiel. Nice is also Wurzbord at where you can try out a competition and this even for free. Twenty-seven seconds. It was a bit icy, but hey, so cool. You can actually get your video on this link here, and then you can take a look. So cool, right? And the best of the best. It's for free. You just need to scan your ski pass, and that's it. And here someone is cheating. After a great day skiing in the Alec Arena, you definitely should consider walking around the village. Betmeralp is a car-free village, you only would encounter these snow cats that transfer the guests to the station or hotels. In general, the vibes up in Betmeralp, in particular during sunset, are really great. It's quite happening and yet it feels very relaxing. Definitely you should visit this spot with the church to watch the sunset. You will see the Alps, sky and snow glowing in different colors. Afterwards, consider going for an upper ski to have mulled wine or other drinks, a ritual that we do after we're done with skiing. There are a couple of great hotels up in Betmeralp and definitely try the local cuisine. There will be a lot of great dishes.
In conclusion, the Aletsch Arena is a great ski resort, it's snowshore, it has great tracks, you get breathtaking panoramas over the Alps and the Aletsch Glacier, you can witness great sunrises and sunsets, and the villages at the three stations being car-free provide an authentic vacation feeling. Overall, it's a fantastic place to spend your winter holidays up there, whether you're a skier, snowboarder or even pedestrian. We're done with our three days skiing in here, rather filming. <laughs> it was really great. Nice to have a paid collaboration with Alec Arena, really beautiful ski resort. Yeah, great. it was really cool. Great to come back, right? Yeah, the Bitmal village was really beautiful. And I think your personal highlight was <laughs> the ramp in the yeah. Alp, right? Yeah really great so that's the end of this video if you have enjoyed please press like leave a comment share it to your friends would be really awesome also if you're new to my channel then you're most welcome to subscribe make sure you check out his instagram also blackwood steel he's a wood carpenter doing really great stuff and that's it from our side we're going to see each other very soon <laughs>